my son is an exemplary marine and he has been for seventeen years he spoke out he thought if he took the lead others would stand up and call for accountability they did not so he is taking the full brunt himself they're digging in and they'd like to burn our son that could be a long prison term they'd like to burn him the parents of jailed marine officer stuart scheller defending their son fighting for his freedom as he seeks an honorable discharge dealing the detained marines hearing has been postponed until tuesday that's what we're hearing so what can we expect the outcome to be here now to react is fox news contributor and retired marine bomb tech and our friend joey jones joey thanks for being here so this lieutenant colonel good morning spoke, guys. spoke for a lot of people knew what he was doing would be uh, against uh, marine corps policy yet it res it's resonated with a lot of folks what do you make of where this is right now the fact that the marine corps is cracking down on them hard yeah, you know, two things can be true at once. Uh, the first thing being, he called in his first video. He knew what was going to happen, and he knew that that's how the Marine Corps works. And so, uh, you know, I'm not going to go so far as to say that the Marine Corps is uh, going above and beyond to punish him because we just don't know yet. The other thing that can be true at the same time is there's a tremendous amount of hypocrisy when you see General Milley uh, go and do these book interviews, and even more so sit in front of Congress and talk about white rage and CRT and things like that. Um, and then say that Lieutenant Colonel Scheller has broken rules by being political. And so the accountability uh, is most important in the military, especially in the Marine Corps. But the only way you can have true accountability is if you command respect and have consistency. And so I'm kind of a wait and see. I understand why he's been put in the brig. Uh, he did violate lawful orders, and, and he's acknowledged that himself. But I hope he's being treated with respect, dignity, and given a fair opportunity to defend himself. And ultimately, the Marine Corps should want to find a positive reconciliation, not make an example out of him. And that's what I'll be looking for. Do they go above and beyond to punish him, or do they punish him according to the UCMJ as they would if this weren't so publicly That um, was my next outraged. question, because he, he volunteered. He wanted to resign his commission uh, and, and have an honorable yeah. discharge. They didn't allow that because they want to punish him. Yeah, you don't get to... <laughs> You don't get to do that on your own time. You do that. You do anything like that on the Marine Corps time. You on know the that. Marine Corps time, absolutely. We'll see where it goes. Well, uh, Joey, I want to congratulate you. By the way, there's something pretty cool coming your way. The 2021 Purple Heart Patriot Project is presenting you the Genesis Legacy Medal. Talk to us about this. Pretty cool. If anyone deserves recognition, it's you. So now you have to talk about yourself. Uh, yeah. Listen, I, I'm beyond humbled. I was at an event near West Point a, a day ago. And there was a widow of a man who received seven Purple Hearts in six months of combat. Wow. Uh, there was a man that was alive there who received four Purple Hearts in his career. You know, one was enough for me. Uh, I didn't get it on purpose. But the, the, the crux of this medal, the, the, the reason for this medal is essentially what you do after you're awarded the Purple Heart with the rest of your life. And uh, long before I was on television, I was helping run nonprofits and trying to make life better for the other wounded veterans who aren't quite as outgoing and, and talkative as I am. So I just try to put these talents God gave me to work to help veterans and, and to raise awareness of what they have going going on in their lives. And, and to bring it all the way back around, Lieutenant Colonel Scheller is one of those people. You know, I, hmm. I, I hope that he gets out of this with an honorable discharge. And I hope that, you know, people like General Berger, who's in charge of the Marine Corps, understands that we didn't need a letter from him telling us our service was worthwhile. We need it from our ground commanders, like Lieutenant Colonel Scheller, who went to combat with us and served alongside of us and put us in those tricky situations. Those are the men and women we want to hear from and each other. And so, um, you know, I don't mean to, to bring it full circle, but that's exactly what this is. It's all the same issue. We fought for 20 years. It hurt a lot of us. It killed some of us. And, uh, and we and those men and women need to know uh, that, that, you know, it meant something. And I believe it did. And uh, so if I receive this uh, Genesis Legacy Award, it's because I'm, I'm still trying to take care of those men and women. No, there's no doubt. You brought it first circle because that's the kind of guy you are. You, you've, you've given so much for this country, but you use that experience to amplify uh, the opportunities that so many others don't have and deserve to have. Joey Jones, you're the man. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you.